currently trying to find some chapstick, a backup chapstick, because my primary, I just knocked under my seat. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, and I can't. I ended up knocking it further back. Um, I don't really have much to talk about this morning. Just the same old stuff. Glad it's Friday. I don't have any weekend plans. I think, you know how it is, kind of sort of like yesterday. Remember how I was talking about how I, you make plans in advance and you're excited about them at the time, but then when it comes closer for you to do the thing that you said you do, you're unenthusiastic. Similar situation. I need to pre-record something for one day next week where I'm not going to be able to, if things go as planned, I'm not going to be able to get a video up in terms of a vlog that day. So I'm over here like, okay, I can, you can put all the stuff out and do, do your prep on Saturday and then on Sunday you can do this and then you can go ahead and edit it and have it ready. So I have all this energy or, you know, all this enthusiasm, if you will, today. And we gonna see where that same enthusiasm is come tomorrow and Sunday. But I'm, I'm gonna do my best to to commit to this Vlogmas journey. It'll be going on at least until the 22nd. I know I think I, I, think I said the 15th at first, but until the 22nd. And again, all will be explained in due time. Because it's Friday, I am treating myself to my Friday treat is Starbucks. I'm a little annoyed because I did not bring my Ziploc bag. I tend to get a slice of lemon loaf, the little pound cake, the lemon pound cake they have, which is awesome. Are you really about to do this right now? Yeah, you are. Okay. I tend to get a piece of pound cake and I like to put it in a Ziploc bag to preserve it, but I don't have my Ziploc bag. Per usual, there is a line at the Starbucks, but they move fairly quickly here, so I'm not worried. All right, I lied. I do have stuff to talk about. I was thinking about this last night, and I had to make a note in my phone to remind me to look into it, So, or not look into it, to talk about it. I thought I had mentioned this in my vlog from my throwback, but from what I can recall, I didn't mention it. I kind of sort of want to join or start a book club, she says with conviction. And the reason why I say it like that is because I have no idea what starting or being in a book club entails. All I know is that I have at least 10 to 12 books that I would like to read and no motivation to do so. <laughs> so I was thinking if I had a book club, AKA an accountability group to keep me in check, that it would be easier for me to do it. I will do my best to have a list of the books that I wanna read scrolling while I'm talking, if I can remember to do this at the time. Um, or maybe I'll put them into the, the bottom box, either way. I, I can uh, share it with you, but yeah. And two of the books I have on my Kindle. Have I read them? No. I think the last book I read, I mean, I kind of sort of read was uh, Becoming. And I say kind of sort of because if you don't know, I was listening to it on Audible and kind of sort of following along because I have the hard copy as well. So I kind of want to do that, but then don't you have to, and then I don't want it to be a, well, these are all the books I want to read type thing. So I don't know. I just maybe just need to be better about holding myself accountable. So there's that. So maybe a book club isn't the answer. Maybe lack of discipline is what the problem is and I need to resolve it. So there's that. Also, have you guys ever heard of Masterclass? I'm not, it's a, it's a, it's a website. How, do you, how would I describe Masterclass? It has all these different experts that teach you how to do stuff. So they have that mean chef guy. What's his name? Gordon Ramsay. I guess he teaches you how to cook 
Issa Rae has a class on teaching you how to write for TV, I think. Um, LeVar Burton has one on storytelling. Elaine Welteroth has one on designing your career. And I'm really interested in the last two. And there may be some other classes that I don't know of that are on there. They have the people who are actually experts in that field teaching you how to do the thing that you are interested in. You know what I'm saying? So like if you want to learn gymnastics, if there was a master class for that, it would be Simone. Or you know, like one of the grades. Thank you for choosing Starbucks and Outside Drive. My name is Jim. May I have a name for the order, please? Yes, it's Muriel. All right, well, can we get started for you today? Hi, may I have a grande caramel frappuccino, please? With the grande caramel frappuccino, absolutely. Can I get it with an extra shot of espresso, please? With an extra shot of espresso, you yes. got it. Um, lastly, do you have any um, lemon loaf available? Yes, we do have a lemon loaf available. How many would you like? Just one slice, please. And is there any whipped cream on the frappuccino? Uh, yes, please. Is there anything else we can get for you today? Nope, that'll do it. Well, it's nine ninety one. We'll see if it's nine eighty one. And you, I, I, heard, I already forgot what you said about the whipped cream. <laughs> yes, to the whipped cream. Yes, to whipped cream. Nine eighty one. All right. Window. Thank you. I'm trying to think of what I was saying. Oh, but yes, yeah, so I'm super interested in Masterclass and the way they present it to you, it's like, oh, it's $15 a month or you can have a separate account that's $18 a month or uh, the Grande, which is uh, 20 some odd dollars a month. All of that to say, I was hella interested until I realized that they bill you annually. So even with the cheapest membership, it's $180 up front. And I'm like... I only want two classes that I know of. Y'all trying to charge me 180? That's excessive. And so I'm mad. I'm butt hurt. Cause I don't want to pay that much. But I'm I'm gonna try and find a way around it. I'm like, who else wants to a master class account? Can we join forces and, and make this thing happen? Cause <laughs> Alright, let me make sure I'm paying for my coffee with the right card and then I need to document how much I spent because I'm trying to track my spending and not exceed a certain amount for the month. I'll see y'all later. Get my child without foolishness today. <laughs> Take this off. It's lunchtime and I'm with a mystery person who won't let me <laughs> look at her. <laughs> she won't let me. Oh, oh, now you waving? No. no oh, oh, okay. No. But I'm here? No, she's here. She's here. I want oysters. We want oysters. So it's happening and I'm excited. But I'll be back at work in 45 minutes. We would, yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, 35. <laughs> 35 minutes. Oh, they got a fountain? That's where we are. Friday evening 
well, what's five o'clock? Is that evening? That's what time it is. We have goodies. Gonna do a quick unboxing. And then I guess we'll wrap it up for today. Because aside from taking a nap, hopefully, and watching TV and editing this vlog, that's gonna be my day. I might watch the new Suicide Squad movie tonight. I'm very confused as to where Will Smith is. I hope they address that. Not nothing against Idris. Nothing against Idris. I'm just saying. Ow! Oh, that wasn't smart. And then you did it again. Okay. Nope. Did you learn from the first time? Okay. All righty, Rue. First things first, remember how I was talking to you all a couple vlogs ago about my skin and how I think it is, is immune, the word I'm looking for. Basically, I don't think the things that I use to keep my skin clear are as receptive to the products that have worked in the past. I think my skin has kind of built a defense and it's time to try something new. So I got a skin clearing foaming cleanser from the body shop. It has tea tree oil in it. And you're gonna focus. Mm, there you go. Has that in it, so we are going to give it a go. As of right now, my skin is looking as good as, as I know it can, considering the circumstances. But seeing as how I will be surfing the crimson wave next week, who knows what's gonna happen. I also, I also have been wearing cloth masks. Um, one of my coworkers was telling me how apparently, I guess the chemicals or the whatever the pro the situation is on the white masks, you know, the, like the typical ones with the white and the blue, apparently it's better for your skin to wear cloth masks. I would have thought the other way around, but what do I know? I don't know any of it, but that's what she told me. So there's that. I got some cotton pads. These are my favorite brand of cotton pads. They're just durable and I like them. Wait, this isn't everything I got. Oh, yeah it is. Is it? Oh, oh, now I'm disappointed. <laughs> I wanted there to be something in the box that I was super excited about and I guess this will have to be it. Um, I got a face mask. It's the Ordinary. Ordinary salicylic acid 2% mask formulated for blemish prone skin. That's me. Um, use once or twice a week on thoroughly clean, dry skin. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across the face. Leave on no more than 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Okay. So I guess I'll bring this into my routine come Sunday. So again, we're just trying to keep, it's hard to keep your acne scars under control when you keep getting new acne that keeps giving, leaving more scars. I just, it's, it's like an endless cycle of mess. Just a casserole of nonsense. Speaking of skin, apparently all of this is skin that I didn't realize. I got no makeup, which I guess is a good thing. I've really been liking these. These are Acne Pimple Master, I spit on myself. Acne Pimple Master Patches. These came to me in an influencer order and I like them because they come in different sizes. They have little small ones for your little small pimples, some medium size and some large and I really like that. So they were on sale, $6 a pop. So we got two. And that's literally all I got. From Ulta. <sighs> Nothing excites me. Although there's some make like some makeup doesn't even really do it for me anymore. <sighs> I, it's like the thrill is gone. I need a new high to chase because the makeup isn't doing it. You know, like any other addict, at some point it just stops doing it for you, and then you got to find something new to be addicted to. I guess I don't know. Speaking of things I'm addicted to. Who's getting that Fenty perfume? Apparently that stuff is $100. And we can't smell it? 
I feel a way about that. What is up with these these business moguls putting out these products that we can't smell? Jackie Ina and her candles. Yes, they just got in Sephora, but before they were in Sephora, you just had to order them blindly. Huda Beauty and her perfumes. Yes, they are in Sephora, but before they were in Sephora, we had to order them blindly. And now Riri in this perfume. So I'm just supposed to spend $100 and just trust you. I mean, I probably will, but I'm just saying I feel a way about it. And I better like the way that perfume smells. Not everybody's going to like it, but... So that's, that's, um, that's how we're feeling, but I might get myself the perfume just kind of as a gift for me. I mean, I don't have an excuse. Like I'm over here trying to make a reason why I don't have a reason. Let's just be honest. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. Again, we just chilling. We watching movies and we drinking. That's what we do on Fridays. On Fridays we drink. It's Saturday. <laughs> I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this vlog. Y'all, I'm so happy. I'm trying to shamelessly, shamelessly promote myself. And I am ridiculously close to reaching a thousand subscribers. Last I checked, I was nine away. And that just really encourages me and motivates me to want to do more stuff. So if you have ideas, let me know. And I think... Again, I'll wrap it up. And thank you to y'all who are taking your time out of your day, taking time out of your day to watch me and my randomness. I appreciate it. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow and have a good night.